So let's see what happened when it uh, jammed up on me. So what we're looking at is the uh, breech block. And up at the top here you can see some metal is missing. And what happens is the uh, firing pin spring retaining screw. Uh, you compress the spring down into the breech block and then you do a quarter turn and that little tab there on top then uh, locks in place and a little slot in there. What has happened is that metal has fatigued and uh, broken out for whatever reason and has allowed an escape path for the uh, firing pin spring retaining screw and so that thing came out and jammed up in there so let me show you a new one I have a new part so here are the two parts uh, this is actually the top on the bottom there but you can see the two parts the uh, new part and the uh, old part that is broken so I'm going to have to replace that breech block and the way you do that there's just two pins there's one pin that holds the extractor and then there's one pin that holds the uh, toggle to the uh, breech block so I'll have to take those out Let's reassemble this guy. Put the firing pin in there. And the firing pin spring. And the spring retainer. Now let's uh, see if I can keep it from flying across the room here. And there we have it. One thing I did notice is there was a flat uh, made on the retaining pin here uh, to allow the uh, firing pin to be cocked all the way back when the toggle cycles through. So that's another reason um, you can't just put it in there maybe an eighth of a turn and then of course there's a stop in there you can't 
keep turning it and use metal like over here like do it a half turn <laughs> so oh well that might have been a solution to repair this one to uh, continue the groove over to the side and make it a half turn I don't know that might be an option but uh, I was gonna see if I could uh, get this TIG welded here see how much that costs to build up that metal and save this piece but since I was able to get a new one odds are I'll just I won't save this other than to uh, keep it with the gun all right, let's get this Luger back together here. Well, it seems to be working. And next thing to do is uh, put some rounds through it. <laughs> 